Hey, hello everyone, good evening, or afternoon, or morning, I guess, depending on where you live, and welcome back to the stream. Uh, we've done a lot of Psychonauts lately, and it is pretty amazing, but we have been neglecting Super Mario 74. Uh, so I thought we would pick that back up. We, uh, I think got about 25 stars last time, and hopefully we'll get a few more. I do notice we've dropped a few frames during this short introductory segment, so I hope the connection will remain stable from here on out. Uh, please do keep me updated if there are any weird frame drops or whatever, feel free to uh, put it in the chat so I can check OBS and see if there's anything uh, I can do about it. You never know. <laughs> so anyway, we should... Uh, we should get started, so let's get that music out of here. Even though it is very nice music. And uh, let's get that preparing screen out of the way. Boom. It's a video game. The advantage of uh, Super Mario 74 over Psychonauts is that it's a bit easier to uh, get the chat to work with it. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Psychonauts kind of... Uh, forces itself into a pause mode when you tap out and it w always wants to be so as a result it always wants to be like at the top it wants to be the very topmost window which is a bit annoying I could do without that but the game itself is pretty amazing anyways enough about Psychonauts because now it's time for Mario 74 it still works let me see if it's getting recorded oh right I think I uh, <laughs> Kind of rushed the ending last time because I'm quite severely injured. All right, I I failed to get up several platforms. Hmm, didn't have the angle quite right there. I don't think I'm actually going for all the red coins here though. So let me know if my voice is being recorded properly, if the game audio is audible, as they say. And in the meantime, I will uh, get started on failing to get this red coin. You know what? Never mind. I just needed a coin to get some health back. I'm glad this game doesn't make a Zelda-type beeping noise whenever you're low on health, at least. That would get real annoying real quick. Wait, doesn't it do that? Right. Let me just get my bearings. It's been a while. After I started on Psychonauts, I kind of got addicted to that. <laughs> Completely forgot to look at all the other games. So, let's uh, talk while we get started here. Let's talk a bit about Twitch. So, they recently had this update of the uh, policies. I think there's... Uh, I don't really understand the details of it, but apparently it's all about... Uh, hateful conduct, I think. Now, well, my streams are pretty clean, I would say, so that's not much of a problem for me. And my social media presence is pretty clean as well, so... But I think there was, there might have been, so that that's not a problem, but... I wonder if there's any problem with, uh... Doing a ROM hack like this. Because they did say something about, uh, like... I think it specifically referred to, uh, this looks like a level, so I'm gonna jump in there after I finish my thought here. Uh, certain things like games with uh, embargoes that haven't been lifted yet, and so the developer could request those not be streamed. And I wonder if Nintendo would essentially complain to Switch about streams like this. Um... Oh, okay. <laughs> System of a town. Guys, we have just found the most amazing little joke slash reference that has ever been made. Rooftop climbing. I didn't even read the objective. So this is more like a city level, I guess. Ow. Didn't have enough momentum to pull that one off. What? 
Hey Clive, you almost turned the game off when you saw that pun for the first time. Yep. <laughs> that, uh, that makes sense. System of a town. Wow. It's too... The, the, I mean, you know, that pun would have been more justifiable if this city had some sort of, like, mechanical or system-like part to it. Like, System of a Town would actually be a pretty amazing pun name for, say, a digital city. Like a city that is half... Half digital, half real, like in Frozen signups, stuff like that. But no, they just wanted to make a system of a down pun, so I guess that's fine too. Speaking of uh, Twitch changes, they also added some more. Uh, added some more. St uh, stuff. I think you can now become... You gotta become, get a badge for being the Clip King or something. Uh, the emails didn't... The email didn't seem very uh, well translated to Dutch. So I'm just trying to figure it out. I would honestly prefer if they just send me uh, English emails. But yeah, so they... Apparently you can get a badge for making clips now. So that's cool. And, apparently, there's also a badge for drowning yourself. Nope. There's also a badge for, uh, donating a million bits. A million. It's like, wow, guys. A million. One million dollars. So that's interesting. Though I heard some frustrations from long-time Twitch streamers. That they should have focused on adding more badges for long-time subscribers instead. Because I think it goes up to two or three years now. And Twitch has been around for a bit longer than that, I think. Though, I only started, I think, one and a half or two years ago. Anyways, enough about boring Twitch updates and more about this. Okay, a sign. I wonder if it says something snide and insulting. That was surprisingly not that snide. System of a town, toxic city, missed opportunity, zero out of ten, yep. This awkward silence means I was trying to think of another great pun, but not very successfully. You could say they've got this whole ROM hack thing down to a T. Wow, that, that was just a rehash of my T joke during Mario Golf. Ori no original humor. I also got a 0 out of 10 for that one. <laughs> Another advantage over Psychonauts, I can make safe states like a dirty, disgusting cheater. Case in point. I feel like that one should have landed, but... Okay, there we go. I wonder who lives here, like what's the lore? What's the lore to this system of a... Uh, system of a town? <laughs> well, hey, we found a star, so... Progress! Let me take a sip of coffee to reward myself for this amazing achievement. Oh, well, we might as well continue. Into the sewer system. Yeah. 
Hey! Leapt right into his arms. It's so good to see you again. Chukyas. They are called Chukyas, right? I think so, anyway. So, the point is we need to find the sewer. Sewer? I don't even know her. I'm guessing we need to use the water then. This is going to be somewhat troublesome, I can already tell. Okay, I, we somehow managed to... I have no idea how that happened, and why it happened. Okay, we made it, I think. Wow. So yeah, I hope that the whole Twitch clip badge system uh, motivates people to make more clips. I know I'm not the, uh, the greatest jokester in the world. So if a good joke does happen, it's, it, I guess it's important that we... Uh, keep track of that I need to reach my quorum of making at least two good jokes every year was that Koopa the quick It's hard to get momentum going this close to the wall. There we go. They really want me to master those side jumps, huh? Well, that's fine, because I got another star. <laughs> Did you see him coming, running at me? No, don't take the star yet, I have something to tell you. Just checking to see if we are dropping any more frames. You never know at this point. The secondary house entrance. You mean the back door? That's a roundabout way of saying it. Secondary house entrance. Wait a minute, is the entrance secondary or is the house secondary? <laughs> Could it be? Was it was it a decent joke? Wow. Well, I've already almost hit my quota for this year then. So, secondary house entrance. Oh well, okay. Here we go. That was apparently the correct one, somehow. I don't know how I did that, but apparently that was the secondary house entrance. And it was not the back door, but rather a chimney. Find the secret room. See, this one could have also been called find the secret room, to be completely honest. Of 
course, the question is, which room is the secret room? Oh man, the camera isn't very, uh, rather, this stage isn't very kind to the camera. I was gonna say that the camera wasn't very kind to the stage, but let's be honest here, the stage is clearly to blame. Hey, Lucky Do, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I have even heard, like, Matthew Matosis in his uh, review or analysis series of the Super Mario series actually calls it Lakaitu. You can grab onto some of them. Is there any indication? Is it like Mirror's Edge where all the uh, places where you can grab onto are brightly colored? Or do I just need to guess? Oh, please. Well, it's a red coin, but... I was never any good at finding secret rooms. Like, is this gonna be a legitimate, just cool challenge? Or am I just gonna have to... rub against all the walls until I find something? There wasn't much of a clue about where this hidden or secret room could be. Every time I do that, I die a little bit inside. Every time that happens, I also die a bit inside, but at least with the knowledge that it isn't my own fault. Because I don't know what, what, what that was. Yes, did you, did you feel that? I lost another shard of my being there. So... Oh... Uh, this was the other secret room. They... Well, I had to fight to get control back there. Well, I got out of there at least. Well, I could, there's still plenty more to explore, so maybe I can look for another star while I think about this this one. Chakya imitates a gun while I play unfitting music. Charrr. Of course, they uh, intentionally added this little steep part to the ledge, so you can't just grab onto it. Oh, man. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a different solution here. Of course, the best solution would be if I could actually see what was happening. Apparently, we can't have nice things due to the Mario 64 camera. What are you doing, Chuckya? Can't cut quite get a. Uh, Never mind. Like I was saying, it's perfectly uh, easy and simple to perform a triple jump on that platform. It might be considered difficult by an amateur, but as I am an expert on Super Mario 64 and all platformers, it was easy for me. I hope that wasn't a bad thing to do. Ooh. 
Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Once again, it would be nice if I could see what I was doing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Indeed, here we go. Hey, that was the secret room, wow. I thought I was going to have to search at random, but the stage is more well designed than I gave it credit for since I keep getting the right stars. Right, now it's time for the red coins. This stage seems pretty compact, doesn't it? Pretty, pretty small, honestly. I actually f appreciate that. After all, it's not so much about the size of the stage as the content. You have a big open space with nothing in it, what's the point? So I appreciate this little town. Reminds me a little bit of uh, the actual underwater city in uh, Wet Dry World. This box has a conspicuous texture. But apparently it's nothing. Oh, uh, they, have, they have the texture as well. It's supposed to be bricks, but it looks a bit like wood. And you know, when you're... When you're a gamer, you're conditioned to destroy wooden boxes. Every time I see a wooden box out on the street, gotta kick that. Hmm. Anyways, the red coins weren't that hard to find, at least they weren't last time. Chuck Yeah is still having a seizure over there. I should make save states regularly so as to not accidentally <laughs> create a situation where I'll load a save state after something goes wrong and I end up losing a ton of progress. That would be awkward. And we all know it's happened before. That's one thing about Psychonauts, I can't abuse the save states there. So at least I won't ever lose any progress to my own silly mistakes. I don't quite remember where all the red coins are, though. Perhaps I should have paid more attention. There we go, another one. I wonder why they went for eight red coins specifically. I wonder if there's any deeper meaning behind that. That wasn't quite what I wanted, but it's fine. Hmm. So they want me to do that thing where you wall jump and then somehow reverse and back onto the platform again? Apparently they did. Wow. I'm glad I could pull that technique off still. It's kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that was a red coin somewhere over here. I often forget that the spinies are an actual enemy in this game. Just look at how cute it is. Of course, the Paper Mario design for most enemies is the cutest. I mean, everything about Paper Mario is cute. Since this is the mission where we get the red coins, we might as well try for the 100 coins as well.
Paper Mario destroyed the environment, is that true? Hey, true giant fish, welcome to the stream, it's good to see you. What? You gotta love those little moments where Mario gets uh, just far away enough from the camera that you see the low poly version of his model. It's uh, it's not a pretty sight. I think there was a red going up there, but I might be wrong. I'll have to have a good look around. I doubt there's much uh, in the way of guides for this game. But... I can't wait to swim around at random and hope to find a place to uh, actually surface again. There we go. Made a bit of a safeguard there, you never know after all. Yes. So what, are we swimming back now or not? Where are we even going? Yes, I'm aware, please. <clears throat> so it does beep when you get at very low health. Well. I don't know how I managed that, honestly. <laughs> that was crazy. Come on now. There we go. This is uh, a bit finicky here. You know what that means? Egregious safe state use. Oh, this is a completely different place, actually. Well, I d I'm not complaining, I get blue coins. Haha. -ha. Get out of here. Ouch. And there we go. Oh, I guess that one must have respawned or something. Yeah, they respawn pretty quickly. Weeds never die, after all. Alright, I can see the two remaining red coins. There's one. And there's one. Question is, what's the best way to get to them? So when you approach the uh, piranha plant, it plays the stone tower temple music. I don't know why. It's probably way too long to be used as a loop for this. But I guess it's a neat little secret. I mean, it is probably one of my favorite dungeon themes from the whole Legend of Zelda series. Even if this meaty, midi, midi is kind of a far cry from the original. Still pretty neato. 
to hear that in the Mario 64 sound font. Anyways, emboldened by new knowledge, we crash right into the ground and break our legs. Emboldened by new knowledge, we don't do that. Emboldened by new knowledge, we jump onto this. We jump onto this roof. Uh, this is the first Super, Mar uh, Super Mario 64 hack I've uh, tried, yes. Like, of uh, officially. I think I have must have started one up in the past, but this is the first time I'm actually trying to get through one. Uh, it's called Mario 74, you probably uh, know it. It seems to be popular in the community, but I don't know all that much about it. Beside the fact that I absolutely suck at it. <laughs> Are you uh, familiar with a lot of Mario 64 hacks, uh, True Giant Fish? Vaguely, I see. Have you played this one? Or any particularly popular ones? You're one of those sinners who discovered them via Fine Saw, so that's fine. Vinny's videos are very funny. He's a great streamer. I appreciate how quickly he can switch from his very deadpan commentary to incoherent screaming like I'll be talking about something serious and something really bad will happen in the game and it'll his well-reasoned argument will turn into a uh, into a scream somewhere in the middle it's pretty funny I was recently catching up on his uh, Kirby 64 streams Yeah, most of the mods they play are comedy focused though, right? Like I think this is this one it has jokes, but it's it kind mostly intended to be a serious uh, serious one, I think. Wow, that somehow went well. So, that's seven coins. There's a star on top of that house. I'm guessing that's the last one. So, there's also a star on top of that house. I can imagine how we... I somehow didn't get hurt, so uh, thank the stars and all that. But I can imagine how we can get... Please. I can imagine how we can get that one. coins. I guess I was already here. Uh, let's see, I think so when I was saying I had an idea of how to get up there, what I meant was wall jumping, since that, like the triple jump into the wall jump, has been kind of a theme for this, and I was correct. Unfortunately, I was not particularly adept at actually making the required jump, but let's uh, forget about that since the star has now appeared. But we need a few more coins before we can call this one done. Whoops. Uh, let's get out of here. Well, I'm glad to get out of there. 
But anyway, we need to find a few more coins. Uh, I did lose a few when the Chukya died, so I hope that hasn't <laughs> botched this. I hope there are plenty coins. Like, more than the required amount. Whoa. Let me check the frames for a second, though. Seems to be going fine. In fact, now it says that it's dropping no frames, but that seems, uh... Well, it says it hasn't dropped any frames, but earlier in the stream it did, so that's... Slightly suspect there, OBS. Oh, it's not recording the cursor, is it? That must have been annoying to look at. I've, I'm pretty sure I said it to not record the cursor, but you never know what uh, OBS might do. Right, well, another place we could visit was that uh, place we uh, swam to to get one of the stars. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. And then we'll go back here and get the uh, red coin star. Let's uh, save the game, because, well, you know how it is. Is this Bowser's dank grave? I don't know about that, the Eternal Knight, but welcome to the stream. Yeah. Well, you never know, it might happen after we get a certain amount of stars. And it's going fine, thank you, the Eternal Knight. How are you doing? Oh, it's a notification. Ah, thanks for the host, it's much appreciated. Wow. He makes an epic leap and completely misses. That's good to hear. Have you been streaming a lot lately? Due to time zones, I tend to miss a lot of people's streams, unfortunately. Yeesh. Who knew that simple platforming could be so hard? You haven't been in the streaming mood, alright. It happens. I know the feeling well. Planning to pick anything up or are you just gonna take a break for a longer period of time? The hackers aren't good at their own hacks, is that true? I hope, I hope it's true. I feel like I've been embarrassing myself quite a bit on this <laughs> series. I mean, I, I haven't been very good at any game, but it gets particularly bad when I'm uh, required to show some serious skill. Like most games at least have uh, a lot of easy stuff as well, but this... You're, you're planning to uh, stream some games you haven't finished on stream. Okay, that's a good idea. That's kind of how I've been using this channel, you know, catching up on those classic platformers I never got to finish or play as a child. Uh, the guy who makes the Shining Stars hex is not good as, at his hex. I see. I guess that makes sense. I always wonder about things like Kaizo games and such. Like, do the developers of those games actually excel at Mario so that much? Or did they just design something for other people to finish. That's a star. You aren't. Well, that leaves us with six more coins to get, though. Was it worth it? Uh, probably not. <laughs> the 
not save again, because you never know. It's mostly for making other people. Right, 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 right. That's, uh, that makes sense, actually. Where am I going? Mario drowns while I play extremely unfitting music. Good camera as always, yep. Oh, I almost saw something there. Horrific sound effects.com. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's hope it stays that way. That was partially my fault, to be fair. I uh, didn't have the camera set up quite right. Though I wish it would kind of adjust itself a bit more. Oh, speaking of channel updates, by the way, uh, you all know the dead stare emoticon. This one, the famous one. But I recently added a new one for the higher tier subs, which is the scary emote, which is based on the recent uh, display picture I drew for myself, which is, which is a bit more sinister looking. So now there are two uh, emotes. I should probably do one for the highest tier as well. No one will ever get it, but at least I'll be able to use it on Discord to annoy people with. And that's what really matters after all. Ow. Oh, did you see that? Mario briefly went into his low poly form. He thought we wouldn't see it, but... Mario stands accused of polygonal relationships. Oh, hey, you're going. Yeah, it is pretty spoopy, isn't it? But now I gotta think of something to do for the highest tier. Most people do like a golden version of an emote or something completely vanity based, like not particularly useful emotes, just something that people will uh, like to show off. So I'll have to think about that. You did that one. It's a, it's a dab, I see. <laughs> If only Meme Lord were here, he would really appreciate that dab. I am a little concerned about whether or not there are enough coins left in this stage, though. And the draw distance, or lack thereof, of the coins isn't making it any easier. You had to do it to him. Isn't that that the guy that stands there with his hands folded. That's also a meme, right? I'm not exactly uh, a meme lord myself, I have to admit. Wait, so where... Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned now. Unless it's a bad hacker, they always put enough coins in the level and then some to get the coin star. Yeah, but I seem to have missed a few and now I don't know how to uh, get the rest. Hmm. 
Well, I haven't checked everywhere yet. Indeed, I don't. Oh. Mario hits his head on the roof, dies. Uh, there's still, I think, another few places where a star was originally, where there were also some coins, if I recall correctly. And also, I am rapidly losing the ability to form coherent sentences, apparently. <laughs> so I throw in lots of words, like apparently, to make it look like the sentence is actually not an absolute garbled mess. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll have another look around. Maybe the coins will reveal themselves when I have a proper look around. There we go. I knew it. Nice. Just check all the places. So this was a good hack after all. <laughs> but we knew that already. Sentences are overrated. Indeed. Wow, this game. Why, why does it have to keep sh sh throwing shade at me? You've collected 60 stars. Oh wait, you didn't. You are still so darn slow. Well, no, I'm not Cranky Kong. I just don't like you. But I like you. Yes, exactly. Falls off the roof. Not even 60. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. But hey, 31 is a good start, right? Right. I have to agree with myself sometimes. The mansion's secret star. It isn't very secret, I already saw it, but I appreciate the thought of it anyway. Oh, whoops. I pressed F5 to make a save state and accidentally refreshed the chat instead. How embarrassing. Yeah, the wall jump is clearly the superior choice there. Now I just gotta find a way to that one mansion they were talking about. A mansion. I doubt it belongs to Luigi. I briefly touched upon this in an earlier stream, I think, but I do appreciate how later games are more forgiving on the wall jumps. Your wall jumps need to be essentially perfect in this game, in terms of timing. There isn't much room for error at all. I guess it makes it more challenging, but it also makes it a bit more frustrating, you know? Rather than only rewarding absolute perfection, I think it's good practice to reward all competence and reward perfection especially. Rather than punishing anything but. But hey, that's just my own point of view. Ow. Mario, please. Oh, maybe this was a completely unnecessary thing to do. I just wanted to have a quick look. Uh, the newer hacks typically are better because they are more experienced and know what to do to make it better. Yeah, it makes sense that the modding community would mature as it went on. As time marches, so do we all, huh? But yeah, I would appreciate a better camera patch too. Uh, no. 
No, I disagree with this. Uh, Mario was so shocked he also turned low poly again. I finally got up there, but then I fell back down. Don't forget, they also know how to make dang. Ouch. They also know how to make meme hacks like Bowser's Dank Grave and Super Slide 64. I wonder if those would be interesting to try on stream. I uh, try to keep the memes to a minimum. At one point I memed so hard that the internet broke, so I've been trying to hold off on the memes for a bit. Bowser's Dank Grave definitely sounds like an appealing and mature hack. I'm almost compelled to say, why hasn't Nintendo made this yet? Ow. Dank Rave games are only of the highest quality, like how one boss has 69 HP. Oh man, that does sound like a very mature, high quality, interesting game. With not a shred of immaturity to it. That somehow worked. Did you see that desperate dive that went right over it, but hit it anyway? Wow, that was that. 32 stars, wow. Wait a minute, 69 HP? How does that work? This game is, uh... I mean, most of the bosses just take a set amount of hits. Oh right, this level. We actually did this last time. Um, Blocks of Doom. We were missing a power last time, weren't we? I don't want to waste your time, so we'll look for that power first. Hilarious! Okay, I'm not gonna do stupid voices, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Wait a minute, you actually have to hit the boss 69 times? Wow. Seems to be going a bit too far for a joke. Four stars in the level called Frozen Slide, huh? You say so. He wanted to do 420, wow. I think, I think there is a point where memes can be taken too far, don't you? So yeah, I think we needed uh, the invisible power to get through this stage. And we don't have that yet, if I am correct. Memes have no limits. Well, you know. There might be a difference between what we can and what we should do with memes, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hmm. Wow. Right, see that there's a star all the way up there. Interesting. I kind of want it, but He mostly does it to troll the Super Mario 64 community since they always whine and complain when he's not working on SS1 repainted or SS4. I see. I guess that makes sense. There's some history there. Of course, there might be some unsuspecting victim who never complained and still has to hit that boss 69 times. I don't know, I feel like there might be people caught in the crossfire of stupid memes at that point. Okay, maybe I should just use safe states here again. I don't really like it, but you know how it is. As you can see, sometimes it is a necessity. I would like to know if, if there are any people who actually challenge themselves to do these kinds of games without save states, these kinds of ROM hacks. Because they're obviously designed to be quite challenging, so, you know. Out. I already said ouch, but it didn't even go wrong yet. I was just preempting it. Come on, Mario. Ah, uh, so there are speedrunners who actually try that, I see. Only speedrunners could be so masochistic <laughs> to subject themselves to it. Mm, I'm trying to do that up the sledge thing. There we go. 30, 33. Uh, wait, I get booted out? Why? Well, whatever. You still got a star. And the camera is like, wait, where are you? <laughs> but anyway, it looked like there was a pipe there, and I am looking for a new power, so hopefully it's in there. And if not, at least there'll be a few more stars to get. It is fun to stream this, you know? It's been a while. Uh, Psychonauts is very fun on a story kind of level, but there's uh, something to be said for the nostalgic appeal of Mario uh, 64. So, what's in here? Ah, I see. This is exactly what I was looking for. A blue hexagon. The stage is kind of cool looking, honestly. Scary, but cool. Scary, but true. Ow. I found the vanish cap. Wait a minute, did that level have the Song of Storms playing in the background? Excuse me? Alright, so what I'm getting here is they want me to keep the vanish cap throughout that first segment, or that fire guy is gonna kill me no matter what. I can just hold on to the ledge, it won't matter because you can't burn a ghost. I'm listening if this is indeed the Song of Storms. It is. Hey there, Womp. Womp's block. Come on. The game is daring me to get that one up, but I'm not even gonna try it.
Huh, I see. I don't understand what the ticking is for. I guess we'll find out later. Come on then, try to squash me. Aha! It is you who were squashed. Crushed. Beneath the weight of your own sins. Wait, so we only get one loop of the song? This is kind of ominous, honestly. You're how quiet it is? Oh, there it... It started and then stopped again, and I was like, wait. <laughs> Let me be quiet for a moment in case it starts whenever I talk. The Fandish Cap is now act uh, is activated. Now turn yourself into a boo and scare other people. Blank. Would you like to say? <laughs> Blank. I see, that was a ghost text. The second message could only be read by ghosts, so I could read it, but you couldn't. It was a message for ghosts only. So I'm afraid I can't share it on stream. Ooh, do you see this little outcrop they added to make sure you could get back? Nice. I think it's important to acknowledge what this uh, hack does right. Because it does a lot of things right. And uh, I do think it's important to stay generally positive. That's one of my things. But I hope you don't mind me occasionally being a little critical. I don't mean anything bad by it. I'm... I, I th Worst ROM hack ever. No. <laughs> I just uh, like to offer my thoughts on the design of things. Uh, when it, when uh, a timer is activated, I guess that makes sense. So there's a star over there, but I don't really want that until I get all the eight red coins. This one is active now. I always loved the way those boxes, the uh, the power up boxes in this game looked. Uh, anyway, that was stupid. <laughs> wow. I don't quite understand what's what's expected of me there, but whatever. There's another, or rather, the same Chuck, yeah, that chucked me before. See a Chuck? Well, at least we have the transparency cap now, so we can continue that one uh, factory stage, the scary one, with the Donkey Kong 64 music. So that'll be cool. Uh, as for the next stream, uh, tomorrow or more likely Thursday, since that's uh, one of the standard days together with Tuesday, I will probably get back to Psychonauts for a bit now that we've... Uh, Refreshed our memory on Mario 74. We don't want to drop Psychonauts yet. After all, the game is getting real good. Ah, I knew it. I knew it, you sneaky boy.
Question is, where is the last red coin? Could it be here or there? Like, is it further up or is it further down? Take a shot every time I fail to pull off a wall jump. Be dead in like five minutes. The answer is yes, but... I don't know if that means if it's further up or further down. There's a star, but I don't... I don't... I don't want your dang star. There's a star there, too. Lots of stars, but where... Excuse me? One of my li standard lines is wow. It represents my constant confusion at the world around me. Oh, there it is. Well, sometimes all it takes is looking around. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I wonder if the fact that I use the word very often reflects poorly on either my intelligence or my vocabulary. Maybe both. Perhaps it doesn't imply stupidity, but rather a childlike sense of wonderment. How about that? Isn't that a positive way to look at it? And that makes 34. Maybe. I'll take that. Well, now that we got the red coins, we can do these slightly easier stars. I hope it won't come to bite me that I call them the easier stars. Aha! Do you think you can throw me even though I'm transparent? Oh, I'm not transparent anymore. And also dead. Welp. <laughs> I was about to boast to the Chakya that he couldn't throw me, but then I just threw myself. So, I did his job for him. At least I robbed him of the satisfaction of throwing me. And that's the most important thing. The point is that you go out on your own terms. There we go. It was more the way I intended it to go. When something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Exactly! Words to live by. That is. That is. As you can see, I always do things properly. By myself. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, nailed it! First attempt. Wow. I surprise myself a lot, you know. Why are we here, just to suffer? Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Okay, that's not necessary, I'm sorry. <laughs> Save me. That fly guy could be very useful in getting to the SAR, but he's kind of hanging... Wow, I made the pun without realizing it. He's kind of hanging around, yeah. He is. Terrible puns. Yeah. 
I think this controller lacks the necessary sensitivity. I should send it off to sensitivity training. Okay, we're gonna try something... Uh... Okay, clearly we're not gonna try something. Hey, you see how this little tap causes Mario to just run all the way over there? Like... What, you tap to the right? So what you're really saying is, I need to jump off the edge. One-Eyed Deacon, you can crawl. Oh, that's true. Thank you, One-Eyed Deacon, and welcome to the stream. That's some good advice, actually. I had completely forgotten about that. Uh, ignore that. That didn't happen. <laughs> it was all an optical illusion. See, what really happened... Mario, come on. What really happened is, I actually got it in one try, and you're just seeing the after image. It's like a stream delay, where the audio and the game are out of sync or something. Trust me on this one. Really. Sorry. <clears throat> Have I tried long jumping? Yeah, I tried that uh, just a bit ago, but I couldn't quite get it to work. It's just a bit too far away. I was way too amused with my own little joke there. I think I could do it from here, maybe? If I could, if I could just build up some momentum, you know. Well, that was a long jump, but not in quite the right direction, I would say. Hmm, I can't quite do it. Also, hi, the reverser of time. Welcome to the stream. Completely forgot to say hi. How very rude of me. Okay, I should be able to jump from here. Wow, that was way... I, I was I was just saying earlier, like, I, I hope I don't... Uh, my earlier <laughs> statement that the other stars would be much easier than the red coins would come back to bite me, but it did. My action is forgiven? Okay, thank goodness. You can't be having any grudges in this, uh, this stream. <laughs> Except, of course, for my grudge against the camera. It's not even that funny, but for some reason it really made me laugh right at that moment. <laughs> Right, so we need to climb uh, up a bit again, I think. 
Because there was a... Whoa. A star way up there, wasn't there? I'm glad we don't need the red coins anymore. Man. So we've gotten 10 stars in the stream so far. From 25 to 35. Let me check how the frames are doing. The frames are doing fine, it would seem. Also, we're doing pretty good in terms of uh, viewership. Apparently, uh, Mario 74 is drawing in some people, so... Hey everyone, thanks for visiting the stream. This is surprisingly big for one of those smaller bonus-esque stages, or rather not bonus stages, but smaller stages intended just to unlock the, uh... Oh, hey, a notification. Tap Meh is now following. Thank you, Tap Meh. If that's how you say that, I'm sorry if I <laughs> mispronounced that. Been playing some of the Kaizo like hacks recently. Mario 74 Extreme Edition and Star Revenge Night of Doom. Interesting. I like to, I'm actually considering looking at a few more ROM hacks, but so maybe those are worth a look. Although, if you're seeing my performance right here, I'm not sure if I can handle Kaizo. <laughs> but you try uh, Kaizo type stuff then? You must be pretty good at the uh, the games. Tap my okay, okay, tap my thanks for the follow and thanks for visiting the stream. And also, I almost got hit by a fly guy. Again with the long silence here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, if you're playing Kaizo type hacks, you must be quite good at the game. I'm, uh, I was never particularly great at it, and I don't think I can manage Kaizo. Probably not, anyway. Maybe if I practice a lot, but... I wonder if I can get to the star from uh, here. Well, not like that, anyway. <laughs> wow. Not quite, not quite. Oh, looking up through the camera is what does it. I see. Interesting. I had no idea what was uh, causing the error. That's interesting. Weird bug with the uh, the music then. Oh hey, look at that! Another pipe. I really shouldn't whistle. Probably sounds like a hellish screeching when it goes through this microphone. I wonder what snide message the developer has left for me here. Warning, this slide is kinda fast. If Mario gets too fast, try jumping and do a kick in midair. Okay, that should work. It sounded alright, okay, thanks. <laughs> Whoa. Ow! That hurts. Welp. That was uh, weird. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, this time we're just gonna be cautious about it. Good job, yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it's... Some of these textures are killing me, yeah. In my case, literally. Well, literally, in the game, literally so. 
Maybe not literally in that regard. Okay, so... No! If Mario starts to slide on his belly, uh, it's pretty much over. I feel like. Oh! He recovered somehow, but then he died again. Hmm. Red coins on the slide. <laughs> wow. Can we just complete the stage without the red coins, perhaps? Kill box is like right under the bottom platform. Yeah, it looks like it. I was surprised at how quickly I just died after that. Hmm. Not the best moment to make a safe state, but at least it's manageable. The camera, though. This could be manageable if the camera just followed behind me nice and uh, accurately, but there's Mario 64's camera for you. Like, this complete turnaround is cool, but no pun intended. But it's also kind of a problem for the Mario 64 camera. I do appreciate that they tried to do something really cool with the... Uh, Makes it falls down immediately. Sorry if you get annoyed by hearing that same part of the music every time. Oh, hey, look at that. We have somehow recovered, uh, we have somehow lost our momentum here. Can I stand up then? Can I please stand up? Mario? Mario? I had to do it to him. <laughs> so essentially, if you don't get out of there before you lose your momentum, you're done. Nope. Like I said, the problem is the uh, the camera makes it a bit finicky. And if I jump, uh, he'll probably start to slide on his belly, which means I lose control. I started playing these hacks uh, about three, five, four years back. Hmm. Some of these hacks are pretty old. We're going to we're going to be here a while, I'm afraid. It's almost 2012. I see. That's actually more recent than I thought it was. 
but I am not too well aware of the modding community for this game. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe that. Did you see that? Your least favorite hack. Well, I don't have enough experience to decide that, but I'm sure uh, the reverse of time knows one. Wait a minute, but where are the red coins? Okay, there's one, but... Where's the other one? Did I miss one after all? Yikes. I have failed. To come so far only to fail. Um... So where's that red coin then? The other one. Which one did I miss? He goes straight into sliding, so I can't actually do the kicking up the ledge. Uh, kicking up the, the thing here, the slope. Well, I could just crawl, maybe. Nope. So I must have missed one of the coins somewhere along the way. Well, not much I can do about it now, I'm afraid. It is what it is. Your least favorite one was this one titled Rainbow Road. It was simply a bunch of levels that were made of lazily made cube platforms. Creator probably slammed his forehead on the keyboard and called it a day. <laughs> or maybe it was just a, a kid trying his, uh, trying his first Mario 64 hack. Aha! You didn't think I'd get another star so quickly, did you? Yes, indeed. Another bonus star. You haven't made any hacks, I see. I actually, one time, I modeled a cube in uh, Google SketchUp. Was it Google SketchUp? Something like that, a simple 3D modeling program. And made a cube, and then I got that to load in place of bob on Battlefield. So you had a complete, uh, just a plane that Mario could walk on. And I was so proud of myself that I never touched the modding tools again. Isn't that a heartwarming story? <laughs> But yes, the process is pretty hard. I can imagine that if you wanted to do, like, just replacing stages is hard enough, but imagine doing something like this where you have your own hub. I can imagine that would be uh, crazy difficult. This is quite tough, requiring me to get all these triple jumps off. Yeah. 
in such a small space. You could do some pretty cool exploits in the game by uh, getting a triple jump off in a very small space. It can take up to two to three years, so if you're making an intentionally bad hack, it must it can take up to three weeks. Hey Mushy64, welcome to the stream as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, once you pass the technical stuff, the next hard thing is having the imagination and skill to draw some good levels. Level design is a skill all its own. It's a, it's a particular field or branch of game design. And people underestimate it sometimes. They think it's uh, the artist's job, but it is not necessarily. The artist can help with it, but you really need to think about the shape of the level. How you guide the player through it. How you communicate the path to the player without putting up big red arrow signs. And how you not make the player pull off annoying triple jumps on a tiny platform. That's also an important part of game design too. It's not that bad, I just like complaining. I'm sorry if it's annoying. I'm trying to be funny. I don't actually dislike uh, this hack at all. I think it's a super impressive mod or hack. You gotta respect the ambition to make something like this. Hello, SM64Pi, welcome to the stream as well. Thank you, the Eternal Knight, that's much appreciated. Alright, so here's the red switch. So, does that mean we have all the powers now? I'm pretty sure we have all of them now. Oh, right, Pi, you're on the uh, Colors of Creation, uh, or rather, what's it called these days? You're on that one Discord, right? I think I actually uh, mentioned wanting to play one of your hacks at one point, if possible. You're actually terrible at Super Mario 64 Vanilla too, right? Yeah, Ben Server, exactly, exactly. Cool. Thank you for visiting the stream, it's much appreciated. It's always nice when people uh, come to talk. I mm. think you need to actually get the star from this stage by... Uh... Wait, is there... Oh hey, notification. SM64 Pi is now following. Thank you for the follow, that's much appreciated. So there is a bomb ba bomb thingy here, but no pink ba bomb. I already don't like this. Warning, explosive sign, safety distance to ba bombs required. Oh, and there's a cannon to the left. Huh? Wait, what? Now I don't get it. Why is it making a monkey noise? Well... It didn't explode like I expected, so that's too bad. What does this sign say? Another notification. The Reverser of Time is now following. Thank you, that's much appreciated. Ah, the good old classic Lethal Lava Land music. Ah, there the pink bob is. Hey there, buddy. It's 
It's making a monkey noise because it's written in a slot that was originally for the monkey in vanilla. I see. Interesting. I thought it was just a joke or something. But it seems like there's more to it. Ow. Notification. Clive, really? Wait, is it showing up? If it is showing up, it isn't making any uh, noise. Yet. Where are you, Streamlabs? I, nay, no, it did show the uh, the follows, so... Huh. Did it show the notification and did I just not hear it? Weird. It should be showing bits as well as any uh, other notification. I completely lost the uh, the cannon there <laughs> for a bit. Oh, whoops. Well, rest in pepperoni, Mario. Uh, that's true, but it it did make a noise for the uh It did make a noise for the other notifications, didn't it? Or did I just imagine that? I'll turn up the audio a bit. I can't send bits to myself, so I can't experiment. <laughs> you can't cheer in your own channel, it says in red text. They're on to me, guys. They're on to me. Right, so this time we're gonna start high up and uh, hopefully not fall right down again. Oh, I can test it on Streamlabs, yeah, but I didn't want to interrupt the game too much. Let's see, how long have we been streaming anyway? Almost two hours. I'll probably have to close off at around the two hour mark. It sucks, but you know how it is with other uh, stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> wow, my voice. This is a red coin mission, so I might not do it right now. Because it's uh, difficult. Well, I might as well check Streamlabs to see if the uh, notification, so if the notifications for bits are still active and or working. Oh, hey, there goes the uh, the connection. Rip. I sure hate it when this happens. Just a sec, uh, I'll have to uh, restart the stream a bit for the uh, for the uh, the people watching the stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, you won't even notice the dropping frames, but. It's real bad for the uh, the poor people watching on Twitch. So please uh, wait one moment while we try to fix this. As always, OBS takes 10 million years about actually stopping the stream. I've told it to stop the stream like 
five minutes, like, well, five minutes is probably an exaggeration, but a while ago, and it's still stuck there. Dropped over 3,800 frames. Okay, I have now restarted the stream. So I'm gonna check if people actually <laughs> respond to see if it actually is working now. Hey, hello, hi everyone. Let's go. Let's -a go. You see a stream? Oh my. Nice. Thanks. I have no idea what's causing this. Uh, on some, sometimes it does perfectly for weeks on end. And then sometimes it's constantly unstable. I don't really understand it. I'm assuming that someone in this house is making gross misuse of the connection, but... It's hard to say who. Someone is torrenting those dank memes. But anyways, uh, so we're back. <laughs> oh, the second mission is already the red coin mission? It's interesting to have that, uh... Ow. That's why I need to make safe states more often. Clearly lack the competence to, uh... <laughs> Just wing it. Uh, you mean like this, with the camera kind of up close but zoomed out? Yeah, that might be better. I want to hit these blocks, but I'm kind of scared that they'll. Uh, that I need them to jump on. Because that's just like something a mod like this would pull. <laughs> huh. Every box is a chain jump? That's only Extreme Edition. Is that actually true with the Extreme Edition? It sounds like a joke, but it also sounds like something you would see in a Kaizo type hack. when your momentum breaks right at the end. It's not just the momentum that breaks. My heart breaks too when it happens. This course is pretty much the same but with red flowers and lava, I see. And BS, of course, that too. Uh, by the BS, of course, you mean bull honky. Bees wax. Wow, I actually made it up. What a shocker. Everything is BS when you're as bad as Pi. Wow, I'm throwing some shade at Pi here. I'm not sure if that's really deserved. Is Pi really that bad? You 
can't be as bad as me, that's all I'm saying. Ow. Those maligning textures, yeah. Every stage in Overworld is mirrored or modified in some way. I see. It's a bit like the hidden mansion in uh, Luigi's Mansion. I'm not going to say I'm not bad, but there's a reason it's called Extreme Edition. Ha. Huh. I somehow did it. The long jump into the wall jump. Of course, now I have to go all the way back up. It's sadistic. Yeah, I imagine so. A lot of those Kaizo type games are. But that's a perfect fit with a masochistic person, I suppose. Whoops, I overshot it a bit there. There we go. And there we go. How nice. Pai is a masochist. He speedruns as us do a lot. I see. Oh, you know, to each their own. <laughs> the boing Mario says when he hits an enemy that shoots him upwards like that is the cutest thing. Boing. That's just one of those details that didn't need to be in the game, but it's very charming. Like uh, most Mario games, really. You, uh, you alright, dude? Need to need me you need me to call someone. Oh, <laughs> okay. Clearly, I spoke out of line. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, then. Try to hit me. Be very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Don't fall. You should do a race. You could. Uh, I think speedrun races are actually a pretty cool idea. Like I said, every time I ground pound, but I wanted to long jump. Another part of me dies. Another part of my childhood is destroyed. Ow. One hundred percent orange juice. Is that a game that is regularly speed ra uh, ran? Speed ran. I have seen something of it, but no speed runs. Looks like it'll be an infinite speed run then with my RNG. Ha! <laughs> it could be. Oh. Yeah. 
It's RNG hell, huh? I see. I think games that rely a lot on RNG probably aren't very fair for speedruns, unless you have some way to control for it. So you would have to detect like seconds or add seconds depending on the circumstances of one run or the other, I guess. Unless it's actually completely RNG. Another star acquired, though. Not the one we needed to get here, but we still got it. And that's all that counts. We did lose a few viewers uh, during that last... Uh, ...dip in frames. I'm uh, very sorry about that. I still don't get how it keeps happening. So you haven't beaten the first campaign yet, I see. Well, I haven't even played the game yet, so you're still ahead of me. <laughs> Mario hit his head so hard he got low poly again. I wanted to load safe state there, but I wasn't sure if I had made one, so I decided to think better of it for now. Gotta prevent losing a lot of progress. I gotta say though, this does draw in a lot more people than Psychonauts does. The uh, Mario 74. Pro I guess that makes sense. Psychonauts was uh, kind of a cult hit, wasn't it? It didn't uh, appeal to many people. Well, that's not exactly true, but it didn't reach that many people, I think is the more accurate statement. I wonder what's on top of this tower. You can either dive or ground pop before falling to negate any neg negate any damage. Yeah, that's true. It's true, but I usually just return to a prior state when it happens, so... But you're right, I should make better use of that. I'll try. Hmm, how to get that star? That'll also be number 40, so I think that'll be a good cutoff point, actually dies instantly. Okay, we can get it from here. There we go. I like it when I say, there we go, and then Mario says, here we go. The Windmill Star. Very relatable to a Dutchman uh, like myself. Anyway, so that brings us up to 40 stars. And let's see how long the stream has been going. Um... Almost two hours, so let's... Uh, I don't think it's, there's any point to starting on a whole new mission for now. So let's do the closing talk and then I'll... Uh, close the stream. So, uh, this was a pretty successful one. We've uh, gone up from 25 to 15. Yeah, 13 minutes, I know, I know. Well, it, it hasn't really been 13 minutes though, honestly. <laughs> I mean, if you... It, it, there was a drop, but that's not, that's not really fair, is it? <laughs> Anyway, so we've made some fair progress. Uh, this was also a pretty successful stream. We met some cool new people. Uh, let's see who every, everyone who visited the stream. So my memory is so bad. So let's see. I want to thank everyone who visited the stream, including the Eternal Knight and also for hosting the stream. Um, one Eye Deacon visited the stream. Thank you too. The Reverser of Time contributed a lot to the conversation. Thank you very much. Uh, Tap Ma was here too. Thank you too. Let's see. Clive was here, of course. And Mushy64. 
uh, and uh, Pi, of course. Pi was also here. Uh, am I forgetting anyone? I don't want to forget anyone, but you know how my memory is sometimes. Anyway, I want to thank all you guys for visiting the stream, for uh, contributing to the conversation and offering helpful advice. It was uh, great fun. And uh, next time, maybe tomorrow, probably Thursday, we'll probably pick up on Psychonauts and uh, pick up again on Super Mario 74, most likely this next Tuesday. But we'll uh, have to see. So keep an eye on the channel and thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.